Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Factorio. Here, you can have some fuel too. Okay, so um, it's dark, unfortunately. We could put some lights around. Obviously, that's not going to help right now, but that'll just get us ready for next time. We actually connect this into the rail network. This is the point where everyone... Well, not everyone, but many people tell me, you should get Farl. Well, yeah, obviously, but we're not going to do that quite yet. So our main rail network is going to be here and here. This is it. These are the tracks. So I want to get this guy plugged in to the network. <clears throat> so it's going to take a a bit of manipulating here because <clears throat> we want to be able to pull into this tr train stop from this direction obviously but then leave in either direction I'm, I'm not I'm probably not gonna do loops I don't I don't know I'm still debating about that so what we want to be able to do is come down here and then come down here as well and then connect to the different tracks appropriately I don't have anywhere near enough rail to make this happen, by the way. This is way farther away than I wanted to go for the beginning, but it's probably what's necessary. All right, so that's what we're looking at. That's that's messy. We, we, want, we want to do it the other way. So this needs to go to this one. Yeah. missed. Damn it. Oh my god. Give me good beach stream. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. That's okay. There we go. Good. That connects to that. Next to that. Alright, good. So the two rails are in. So this gets, lets me go in or out from here, and then we'll connect the other side so we could continue through if that's what we wanted. Because I think I think we will circumnavigate the lake, if, if it's possible. We don't know how far it goes over here yet, but if it's possible to go around it, we'll go around it. For now, we're just going to worry about this side. We have to take these guys out too, unfortunately. But we will get there. Alright, so then we need one of these bad boys. Nope. One of the nope, yeah, one of these bad boys right there to connect in, and then connect into the rail. So that gets the power into this whole unit, and then it comes into the rail network. So when we come back, we'll figure that out. All right, that's gonna be a lot of running. So be it. Like I said, I'm not sure I have enough track for this, but we're gonna try it. Of course, we're gonna come down here. A little annoying, but not insurmountable. We could probably go... Probably go here. Um, hello? I was going to say, where's that tree chop? Somewhere there's got to be a tree chop. There we go. up this way. I kind of like straight lines, obviously, but probably start angling up all the way from back there. Wow. All right.
That's going to hit it. That should not hit it. Let's do one more just in case. Okay, so this should be fine. Oh no. Oh yes! One more just in case. That's the way to do it right there. Do some diagonal uh, junctions here, I think, eventually. That'll be a fun challenge. Okay, is that as far out as it goes? Now, this goes out just a little bit farther. That's not the edge of it either. Where's the real edge? This looks like the farthest out it goes. Yep, yeah, right here. So let's hug this as much as we can. But we can go right along it. Nice. Yep. A little ocean side view. Hope this isn't the end of my track. Okay, that's good. Long way to go for oil. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Thankfully, the way the biter, biter logic works, they don't attack train track just to attack train track. There has to be another reason. For them to get involved. So you could put tracks pretty much everywhere and they're relatively safe. Which is nice because then you don't have to worry about defending your entire rail line. There we go. Okay. Farl, how I wish thee. Rocket damage. It's the rocket damage. Rocket damage. Now we get to speed up here alone. I was say, why am I not moving? Trains in block. None. That's that's good. It's good that it knows that. That's the top of the water. No, the water goes a little bit higher. Where's the edge of the water? Alright, there it is. Can I put trail here, train track here? Yes. Right, that's like the top. Am I out? I'm out. Alright, so we gotta go get, gotta go back and resupply. That's fine. It's dark anyway. Where? Up there, okay. We have to go deal with those guys at some point. Hey, here's my wall! So I think the first train yard is going to be to the south. That's where the oil will go. We're home! Hey guys, did you miss me? We need more supplies. We need pretty much a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. Um, engines, we're up to 50 engines just sitting around, that's good. Um, I don't really need another. Yeah, I kind of want my own personal train actually. So give me, give me half of these. Eh, it's give me all of these. Give me, give, give me all. Make two more engines. I can't make engines because I'm out of steel. I can, I can solve that. Give me two more engines. That's my personal train now, so I'm ready to go with that. And I need a bunch of train track. All the straight track you can give me, I want it. That's all mine now. All right, we'll stock up on that. Um, we'll stock up on that. Uh, I guess we'll stock up on that. Just stock up on everything, right? Eventually, all of those will be part of my logistics robot magic. That we can double up eventually. Science is starting to run down, so I might want to. Go easy on the science again for a little bit. Alright, that's all good. What else do I need? That's my train. I need train stations. I should probably set up signals being automated too. Oh, sorry. I gotta stretch. It's been a little bit. Okay, alright. I feel good. Um, 
we should probably automate signals while we're here. So let's, what does it require for chain signals? They're the same? Yeah, they're the same. So I need circuits and plate is somewhere. However, I want to uh, prioritize that. There's circuits and plate right there. You need more circuits or more plate? More plate, of course. It's on the wrong side. There's circuits and plates right there. We're going to build our train signals up here. What do we need for this? Circuits, plates, and steel. Hmm. Could I get steel up here? I mean, I could. Let's just, let's just worry about the signals. So I'm right next to each other, I guess. All right, you're going to make, um, I want to prioritize these guys because I'm going to use more of them. I mean, I need chain signals for intersections, yes, but I'm still going to, oops, still going to need more of the others. Yeah, I know. Give me one of those. Give me two of these. So we're going to have with 50 of these and 100 of these. Automating rail signals is ridiculous. I understand this, believe me. Like, I got you 100% of the way. But we're doing it anyway. Alright, I need somewhere I can get steel and circuits and plate. Right here. Uh, there's no plate. There is if I do this. I don't like that idea, so we're going to do it this way. Steel, circuits, and plates. What do I need more of? Plates and circuits. So we can do it this way. This will be just fine. Should do it this way though. I'm gonna make train stops. I'm gonna do a whole stack of train stops. Cause because why not? It's the real world, right? We don't have to be efficient anymore. We just make everything we want. Just make it. Just make it. Just make it. Just put it in here. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, so we've got all our components being made automatically. We have an iron throughput problem, as we knew. It's not actually not throughput. It's a supply. We've lost two more of these guys. We need 40 to keep up with our production. And we now have three... Well, that's 5, 10, 15, 23. So we're 17 short. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's no problem. Uh, I need a place that's making barrels. To make barrels, we need just steel. Oh, okay. Let's look at a place down here, make barrels. Um, will we do barrels above or barrels below? You know, let's just make barrels off of the um, ammunition line. We'll make barrels right at the bottom of the ammunition line. We'll put them back in this way. You're going to make barrels. And I need a couple of chests. Just give me some barrels. This will be good. So I'll get barrels injected into the system, which will be hunky-dory. Do I want... Are we done already? Oh, a stack is 10? Alright, so we want 50. Um, do I want to start worrying about the robots? Kind of? I mean, kind of? How fast do you make one? Every second you're going to make one. Cool. Alright, so we'll start with 30 at the, at the train depot. Um... 
I think the answer, honestly, is yes. Once I get done with the rail. So let's let's lay some rail. Do I have enough supplies? Not really. I need more steel. This is what I need to start doing. So let's set it up so I'm, I'm ready for it. Give me steel. Make sure I've always got at least a stack of each. Actually, I want three stacks of copper. Three stacks of iron. Two stacks of steel. So if I've always got that on me, we'll be good to go. Um, what else do I always want? I always want ammunition. Make sure I'm well stocked with at least 300 of this. And shotgun shells. Piercing would be better. But for now, I think I don't have piercing, so we got that. So always stock me up on those. I want to make sure I always have inserters. I always have belt. I always have these guys. Just a bare minimum of these guys, so I don't need I don't need to go overboard with these. And then I always want one more thing. What's the one more thing I always want right now? Power poles. Alright, so long as I've always got those things going on, we'll be good to go. Okay. Let's go lay some rail. So like I said, the trains the train yard is gonna be in the south. And we begin. Look at all those delicious fishes. Alright. When I could go diagonal through here, I kinda kinda want to. Could put one through here. Just really hug that lake. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I love trains. This is I, this is now. Now I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. This is my favorite part right here. Trains. I need that. So we'll get rid of one more. I feel like this. This. This was incomplete until this moment. Now we are ready to go. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Excited to start using chain signals too. Actually being able to benefit from them. I should be able to run faster when I'm on track. I know that's not actually a physical thing either. But I should be able to. Oh, come on. Make it through. Yes. Okay, so that's that's one. So now what I have to do is create essentially the oil return. I'm moving them because I'm not entirely certain where I'm gonna I'm gonna need them. I think we're gonna have to come through right right along here as the bottom track, and you have to come through the wall on a straight piece, unfortunately. So the wall I could do this. So this is too close. Train tracks are finicky. Only because they're stuck to the grid. There's nothing you can do about that. That looks like it's in line. That does not. Okay. Alright, so that's where we are. That's good. I don't have any gates. Oh, give me some gates. One, two, three, four. One, two. What is the other gate? Did I not click it four times? Four. All right. Then we put our wall back. No. 
now we can put our guns back. Okay, so this is the train network actually escaping. And then we'll figure out the station in a moment. What is it, three? I think that's right, so I think that's where it goes. Yeah, that looks right. Oh, that's one too close. It's one too close. Space, space, train. Yeah. Cool. Science has stalled. I'll have to figure out why that is. Uh, we're going to have to do all this in the next episode, because it's uh, that's time. So that's what I'm looking at right here. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.